Yo hey guys what's up this is the Yadavi your dating coach and today we are going to talk about the art of striking seductive conversations without any further ado let's dive into it first of all i'm going to expose fake internet advices we can see when we are searching best conversation starters for men what's going to show up is what's something not many people know about you what are you most passionate about what makes you laugh out loud oh my god ये काम भी करती हैं आई डोंट थिंक ऐसी चीजें काम करती हैं रियलिटी में टेल मी अबाउट योर सेल्फ हैव यू डन एनीथिंग एक्साइटिंग लेटली लेट्स सी व्हाट एल्स इज देयर ऑन इंटरनेट इंटरनेट एंड लाइटन अस आई वांट टू अट्रैक्ट अ गर्ल टेल मी व्हाट टू से टू हर टेल मी अबाउट यू वर्किंग ऑन एनीथिंग एक्साइटिंग लेटली व्हाट्स योर स्टोरी भाई और ये देखो ये लो Okay now let's see what happens if i search on youtube how to start talking to a girl Ah uh, four effective techniques texting oh how hey how's it going oh joy <laughs> ye joy wale opener le aate hain bhai i have seen most of these videos and i have seen how to impress a girl oh approach anxiety <laughs> I have seen most of these videos and the advice is really mainstream not going to work. Now let's go into a bit niche and start searching about how to start talking to or how to open a girl in India, PUA, something like that. Oh there am I first video amazing. Yeah there are a lot of videos over here and I have seen these videos and what I want to say is that most of the advices that are given in the videos ya fir jo internet pe jitni bhi searches karoge wahan pe jitni bhi advice milegi you will find out things like hey how you doing the same thing as joey said joey ne wo bol to diya but most men don't know how to deliver it they cannot deliver it like joey okay so they are focusing on the best lines and the best lines are not going to work if they don't understand the principle so i hope you all have tried and tested all the advices that are given on mainstream internet and it has not been working for you and that is why you guys over here trying to know is this going to work for me or not but there is one more thing i want to talk about and that is revealing the truth behind the overrated free flow most of the videos that you are going to find on youtube about how to start talking to a girl or how to maintain the interaction un sabhi videos mein you are going to find out one common advice and that is free flow what does free flow actually means free flow ka matlab when you are standing in front of a girl keep talking and if seen by the girl's eyes this is very this is not relatable at all she is not going to relate with this at all because this guy will just keep on blabbering ye bolta hi rahega so if this guy is at the initial stage of pick up or even at the intermediate does he understand that this woman is not able to relate with it is he able to calibrate that thing properly enough so which is why most men are not getting results by following the advice of going in front of women and just start free flowing then what is the purpose of free flow the only purpose of the free flow is this there is a conversation going on in your head I'm sitting at my home or maybe I just left my office I'm in my car I'm driving a bike and maybe I'm afraid about something I'm frustrated I'm angry about something the only purpose of free flow is hawa mein bol bro hawa mein baatein kar and take this inner conversation out of your mind are you getting it that's the purpose of free flow it takes you out of your head but this thing done in front of women is not relatable at all hence there'll be no results and the women you are going to have sex with by following this advice it's just luck based chance now let's move on to the third point and that is i'm going to reveal the tried and tested purpose fluff method to strike a seductive conversation so for this what i want you to do is take out pen and paper right now pause this video take out pen and paper once it is there keep your left hand on the paper and draw it out then keep your right hand on the other paper and draw it out take your time to do this once you are done with this the paper on which you have drawn your left hand 
write your own name with the left hand and the paper on which you have drawn your right hand write your own name with the right hand once you are done with this notice how aware were you while you were writing your name with your left hand were you feeling like a child is writing did you remember the first time you started writing how do you used to draw a you're like one line second line third line wasn't it just the same when you were writing your name right now do you see this is why we call your left hand as the inner child hand you're very aware like a child while you were writing your name and when you were writing with your right hand that's the hand of the beast both are needed now what i want you to do is under the left hand write down your interests your hobbies i don't know what are they playing cricket watching football reading books traveling eating exploring restaurants running jumping i don't know mma write down your interests over there and under the right hand write down the purposeful questions that you want to ask her purposeful questions means the questions that are sorting out your purpose what that means what on your thumb right hand thumb that you have drawn write down this question what's your name on your index finger write down this question what do you do third where are you from fourth where do you live fifth who are you here with so let's say these are your first five purposeful questions now on your left hand whatever your interest are let's just say my interest is dancing so i would write down an interest on my thumb which would be do you love to dance what else let's say i love to watch anime so i would ask her hi do you like naruto you look like hinata sometimes so do you look you look you look like hinata that would be on my second finger third one would be do you love traveling fourth one would be have you ever seen richy rich <laughs> Fifth one would be why do you look like Doraemon? So these would be my fluff questions. Now here is this thing. Most of the mainstream advice revolves around that you don't have to ask questions because when you ask something, you are leeching value and sound like a salesman. But here is this thing. The actual principle is that you have to stimulate someone once you start talking to them. If you are not able to stimulate them, they won't even stand there and listen to you. What does that mean? That means you can use questions if they are stimulating them that means it's not the questions which are stimulating it's how i'm delivering it to them how am i throwing them how am i sending those questions so most of the guys would just pick one thread of the question and start stretching it let's just say they are only going to be purposeful excuse me hi what's your name all the right hand questions excuse me hi what's your name my name is this okay what do you do i do this okay where are you from i'm from here okay where do you live this like sounds like some interview is going on that is why attraction is not happening because this is fucking boring this is not stimulating at all this is not able to stimulate her she would not stay there now let's talk about free flow that most of the guys talk about let's talk about fluff so i can just go excuse me hi you look like doremon like what uh, nothing have you ever seen rizi rich why are you talking to me do you love traveling is this some kind of prank she is not able to understand your intention over here Do you see what's happening? It's just fluff. You are still doing the same thing. What do you have to do to stimulate someone? You have to multiple threading. How will that happen? Let's say purposeful. Excuse me. Hi. Are you around here? Yes. Awesome. Why do you look like Doraemon? What? Nothing. I was just kidding. Where do you? Where are you from? Why are you talking to me? Why do you think I'm talking to you? Another purpose? I don't know. Do you want to know? This is fluff. Like maybe. Why are you so confused? Fluff again. i'm not confused at all okay you didn't even ask my name that's a rude purpose like okay what's your name i'm like give me high five first fluff again so i am multiple threading when you are multiple threading you are stimulating do you see this is much more than the mainstream advice that you are giving most of the guys are not even to make her stay over there most of the guys are not even able to engage the attention of the girl attraction to bahut dur ki baat hai so the art of seductive opening needs purpose and fluff method to successfully deliver and fulfill your desire so now you know whenever you're going to meet a woman there are five questions on your right hand and the five questions on your left hand five questions purpose 
five portions fluff, multiple thread. So this is the ultimate purpose fluff method. This is much above than the mainstream internet advice. If you see most of the internet advices are wash, rinse, repeat. Same advices can be seen everywhere. There is no variation in it, which is why what they are doing is they have prepared one cloth or one t-shirt and it's like all of the men wear this. Wear this and girls will be attracted towards you. That's not how it's happening. So I've customized it according to you. I have asked you to give your own fluff quotients. I've asked you to write the purposeful quotients. You can even increase the purposeful quotients depending upon the things you want to know. But just understand this. Don't fucking bore her by just stretching one thread. Keep multiple threading until you have reached sexual hook point. So how will you know that you have reached sexual hook point and even after reaching sexual hook point, how will you know that how will I start vibing with her? After vibing with her, how to close her? Let's just say you have closure. How do I maintain relationship? What kind of relation, what kind of things to do if I want a fuck buddy relationship, a uh, one night stand or if I want a girlfriend? You see, most of the people will think, oh, this is ugly. One night stand, fuck buddies. What is this guy teaching? You see, most guys think, if someone is wanting something like this, he's a bad person. You do not become a bad person for wanting something. Wanting is your birthright. No one can take it away from you. So what I'm saying is, just realize that if you want to have sex with a woman, this is a desire. You're not forcing it on her. Just having this desire within you is not bad. But you got to know the way how to manifest it, how to take it out, how to complete it, fulfill, completion, what's the process, what's the method, is there a way, is there a technique? So this is what I'm going to tell you in the special announcement that's going to happen just now. This special announcement is going to tell you something which is going to give you 400% gain. I am going to organize a free webinar where I'm going to expose underground secrets of dating and pickup. You can learn a lot about male to female attraction and dynamics. So if you want to be a part of this free webinar, you just have to go down, check out the description box. There will be a webinar link. Register yourself or just join the group. And I will see you on the other side. So if you guys have liked this video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to do that. Comment down in the section below. How did you like this video? And do not forget to subscribe this channel. Share this video with guys who really need to know how to actually open a seductive conversation. And don't forget to share with them that there's a free webinar happening that can fucking change their dating life forever. I'll see you until next time, guys.